Marvin, do you think I'm cool? Heck no. You can't talk to us because you're not cool enough. Check this out. What's that? Just hold the button, think of a skill you want to possess, and BOOM! <laughs> Thank me later. Make me cool. Megan, I have an extra ticket to the movies and I was wondering if you wanted to come. Count me. In. Too bad you can't. Whoa. Why not? Your mom had plans, you heard her. I think I have a way you can make it to the movies with Megan and be at dinner with your mom. It worked! Of course it worked. Wait a minute, did that Franklin kid do that to you? How do you know? Take hey, me to a bigger bully than Franklin! Lose my number, I'm done talking to you. My love life stinks because of you. A remote? Not just a remote. Okay, fine. I wish I could be big and strong and beat up Big Britney. This is right here. Tip, what you doing? Making a grimace shake. Um, yeah. Since when did grimace shake have pickle juice in it? It's a secret ingredient. I just know it is. Watch. Okay. Man, this is gonna be so good. <laughs> You're gonna wish you had some, but you don't. <laughs> Ow. I promise not to get mad. No, uh-uh. See, it don't work like that. You tell us first, and then we decide if we're gonna get mad or not. Is that pickle juice? That's what I said. Look, chill, okay? Because I was trying to recipe off of Pinterest. You need to throw that away immediately. No, you need to tell us whatever you got to tell us immediately. I kinda, sorta, got an F in gym. What? Bro. You failed Jim? It's how not... You, how, no, no. How do you fail Jim? It's not entirely my fault. It's not your fault. It's not his fault. Who fault is it? Do you know how bad you gotta be at sports to fail Jim? It's Marvin. He made me skip gym class to work on a new invention. <sighs> I knew this was gonna happen. Mm. My fault. <laughs> Dad, what you doing in my closet? I was actually looking for the secret passage to Narnia. I was, uh, I was, uh, what's up, Aiden? Ready on another adventure, my boy? He cannot go on any more adventures, Dad. He is spelling Jim. I'm sorry. Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, Jeff Bezos, none of them were good in Jim. That part. No, ain't no that part. Ain't no child of mine gonna be failing no gym. That's it, and that's all. Now go take this trash out while me and your mom figure out what your punishment gonna be. I told you not to listen to me. But you're my grandpa. I like you calling by my first name. That should tell you a lot. I'd be your own people. Mm -hmm. Serves them right. <laughs> that's what I'd do if I was a responsible parent. Make them take out the trash. And be quick about it. Don't be, and don't be slamming stuff. Yes, sir. That's right. You know what? Sometimes I wonder how mama fell in love with you. You're not the only one. She was 12 years older than me. It surprised me all the time. Because she was a great babysitter. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, what do you want? To the man cave. No. You got to help me punish Aiden. Uh, no. I think I'd rather just leave that to you. One of us got to be the favorite parent. He's got a point. He, he, he can't really knock it. Points were made.
Sup, Bobby? Sup, Megan? Do you hear something? It's Aiden. Don't look at him. Are y'all guys okay? No. <laughs> you can't talk to us because you're not cool enough. Be cool is subjective. Spell it. S-U-B-J-E-C-T-I-T-V-E. -E. Subjective. You're even more of a geek than I thought. What geek are you referring to? You dummy. Megan, let's go. Bye, Aiden. I'm cool enough. What's up, Aiden? What are you doing? Get off my computer. Wait, what? Why? Boy, you almost got me into trouble last time because you hacked the CIA. <laughs> That's because you forgot to convert to the VPN I gave you. Now, we're not making this by fault. You were the one that hacked the White House, not me. <laughs> if you call that hacking. Then what was it? Okay, I might have hacked a few things, but I assure you that it wasn't as bad as it sounds. We had agents following us for months. That's because they're dramatic, okay? A little dramatic, but now it's time for our next adventure. No, I am never going on another adventure with you. Never? Wait a minute. Listen, don't worry. I'm not going to get you in any trouble. I just hacked the school district, get you straight A's, and perfect attendance. Straight A's? Nope, I'm still never going on another adventure. Is there something you're not telling me? Grandpa. Watch it. Marvin, do you think I'm cool? Heck no. What you mean no? Is that cool it sounds like? No. Now, do you need me to say it in Spanish? El no yo. What are you talking about? I do cool stuff all the time. Says nobody ever. I'm cool enough that you hang around me. That's only because Ty isn't written in this series. Maybe Barbie and Megan are right. Maybe I'm just a total dork. Since when have you cared what anybody thought of you? I'm 11. Of course I care what people think of me. Check this out. What's that? The answer to all your problems. How so? It's my digital. Switch-a-doodle AI classifier. Awesome. What does it do? Anything you want it to. Just hold the button, think of a skill you want to possess, and boom! <laughs> Thank me later. I'll be at the library, debunking source material if you need me. Okay. Let's see what this baby could do. Make me cool. <laughs> since when do you say sup and since when do you have drip uh these old things Aiden you seem different that's because I'm cool <laughs> please you need more than cool clothes to make you cool yeah if you was really cool you wouldn't have to say it true but I don't care what do you mean you don't care? Those are the rules. Maybe your rules, but cool people set their own rules. Maybe I never thought about it like that. Don't sit to him, Meg. He just trying to play mind games. Maybe I'll play games like the flip phone. What's a flip phone? I don't know, but it sounded pretty cool when he said it. Wait, Aiden. Yeah. I was wondering if we could start hanging out. You cool enough? I think so. Okay. That'll do! What's happening? System overload! <laughs> Aiden? Uh, yes? See, I told you he's dorky. Aiden, what you doing at that house? You know
know you're supposed to be on punishment. Uh, we can still hang out, Megan? Uh, I gotta go. Pathetic. <laughs> get your butt up. See, that's what you get out here playing, knowing you on punishment. You lucky I ain't get that Gucci belt. Get your butt in my car, embarrassing me like that. Ah! Lunch is served. What's this? It's my famous recipe. <laughs> Man, what you famous for cooking? No. Oh, this funny? Oh, okay, I don't know why you laughing because you can't even spell cooking. <laughs> and you, while you over there cackalacking away, you burning Pop-Tarts in a toaster. Come here, come here. Ah, 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 no, 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 no! Yo, first of all, it's not about me, it's about you. Just eat the food. Mm. Is this even edible? <sighs> Top of the morning, guys. It's the afternoon. Same difference. Oh, snap. Is that my favorite recipe? Oh, nah, that ain't right. Huh? <laughs> <clears throat> when was the last time you brushed your teeth? When the last time you peed the bed? I don't know. <laughs> Answers are given. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Mm -hmm. At least somebody's taste buds aren't broken. Man, why you press the cook all of a sudden anyway? Well, if you must know, my sorority sister and her daughter are coming over for dinner tonight. Wait, it's sorority sister. Oh, what you cooking? Okay, so if you guys must know, <laughs> I'm cooking my ultimate, super famous dish. Hot dog casserole? Hot dog casserole? Yeah, I know. I can taste it too. I know. <laughs> so good, isn't it? It's gonna be great. Extra ketchup. Okay, so I want y'all to behave because I have to run to the store and get a couple ingredients, you know what I'm saying, for my ultimate famous dish. Uh, so I need y'all to hold it down. Uh, well, you know, you really could just order takeout. Could you? Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not, because I have to show Miss Elizabeth Graham that my cooking skills have gotten so much better since we were in college. Wait, Elizabeth Graham? The movie star? Yes, okay, super excited. Now listen, don't make it weird though, okay? Don't be weird, because my food is gonna be so good, I just don't need y'all to be weird. So, anyways, I'm gonna leave. Please, just get it together while I'm gone. Clean up or something, like, do something. All right, I'm going to the store, see y'all. Toodles. Why, why are you looking at me like that? What's wrong? Is something on my face? Man, if anything, I blame you. Yeah, me too. Why is that? You've been the one that been putting those batteries in my mama's back. You know dang well she can't cook. I mean, her, her cooking isn't that bad. Bro, ah. are you serious right now? Of course I don't know what it really tastes like. Because every time she cooks, I put a little bit of this on my tongue. Numb and cream, Kmart, Walmart, Publix, Kroger, always available. Just <laughs> Numb and cream? Yep, I don't taste a thing. Marvin, this is all your fault. Hey, don't you go point a finger at me, because every time you point at me, you got a few fingers point right back at you. These three. I'll go get it. I can't believe you've been just like doing this to yourself. It's bananas with rice. That's not even a real meal. I can't believe you exist. <laughs> yeah. I was like, abracadabra. Now you see me, now you don't. Okay, you could be a regular self. <sighs> Being cool is hard. Not when you're cool. So what brings you here? I have an extra ticket to the movies and I was wondering if you wanted to come. Who, me? Nah, the pair on your shirt. Of course you, silly. Sure, what time? Tonight at seven. Sounds good. Count me in. 
Okay, be at my house no later than 6.30. Will do. And oh, Aiden, don't let me down. Bye. Since when do you dance? This is my happy dance. I've never seen you dance. And you never see me have a date before. A date? Wait, who has a date? Me. Megan just got some extra movie tickets and she wants me to go with her. Well, too bad you can't. What? Wait, what? Why not? Uh, cuz your mom had plans, you heard her. This dinner means a lot to her. She need our support, Ava. But I already told Megan I would go. Well, that's too bad. You should have asked me first. Could I go to the movies with Megan? Ugh, whoa. A little too late for that. Hater! <clears throat> Just what I said in the first episode. It be your own people. I know I'm not stupid. Granddad, let alone a dad. <laughs> Handle was at the top. <laughs> go away. Aiden, it's me. You go away, especially. <laughs> Dude. Get the concept of what English means? Of course I know what English means. It's my 17th language. I knew you were gonna say that. That's weird that you know I was gonna say that. I didn't even know I was gonna say that. Hey, are you a top driver? What business do you have here? Don't you see I'm trying to mope in peace? <laughs> I think I have a way you can make it to the movies with Megan and be at dinner with your mom. Listening. Oh yeah, last time I tried that, I got whooped with two Gucci belts. That's not possible. Your mom doesn't have two Gucci belts. She borrowed one from dad. That makes sense. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this here. You make the decision. But make the right decision, Aiden. <laughs> make the right decision. That would have been cooler if the door had been open. Mom's dinner? Yeah. Let me know how the hot dog casserole tastes like. Slow your roll. I'm going to the movies with Megan. No. You ain't going to dinner. I'm going with Megan. Okay. Make me. What do you mean? Don't worry, since I'm gonna make sure I have a good time with Megan. You well, obviously, mess it up for us. And that's when I told Oprah, we don't say it go. it's escar no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, she's really such a peasant. Oh, oh man, man. that's whoa. That must be crazy to be able to say that. So, Elizabeth, what is it? like being like rich and famous. Dreadful, darling. I couldn't imagine being this rich and famous in a thousand years. What was the real story behind Will Smith slapping Chris Rock? Oh. What, y'all was thinking it? Oh, well, on another note, look who decided to join us for dinner. Hey, guys. Elizabeth, this is my son, Aiden. Aiden? What a powerful name. Thanks. Oh, well, that's my casserole. Which Aiden are you? How you know I make another me? I'm an evil genius. 
Well, it's the real me, not the other me. Why wouldn't you want the real you to go on a date? He punched me in the face. Oh yeah, I should've told you about that. Um, what's this? What are y'all doing? Oh, uh, nothing. Okay, good. Um, let's still be a family. Other people are here, we have guests. Um, no more side talk, please. Yes, sir, Mr. Euro, sir, Mr. Fricka Fricka Euro. What are we having? I'm famished. Oh, you should've ate before we came. Excuse me. Nothing. <laughs> Yay! Oh, bloody hell. Do you have any more of the sleeping cream? <laughs> I thought it was funny. This guy's a genius. <laughs> that boy good. Nobody? Just me? That's cold, so hey. God. Little genius. <laughs> no, make cream, you get it? For the tongue. Nobody? Oh, right. Not a single soul. So, like, what's like your five biggest fears? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> what you mean you don't know? Same thing I said. Out of all these kids, you don't think you, you don't think you should know your beast here? Mm, what is that supposed to be? No offense, but you're a geek and a dork. Hey, I resent that. No offense, but I mean you cool around me, but you're a geek, and most geeks have lots of fears. Man, I don't feel nobody but God Himself. All right, but I gotta catch you later, bro. I gotta claim that TV, get back to the crew before my big sister get home. Catch you right now. Flip side. What? Just say bye next time. Man, whatever. Oh, I'm not really a beef. I'm just like that. Hey, what was that for? Because I wanted to. Now, where's my life money? Give it to me now. I spent it. <sighs> Too bad. Shango, how long are you supposed to boil water? Is it five minutes or 10 minutes? What's up, Aiden? Oh my God, what happened to your eyes? I fell. Yeah, you fell, all right? You got lumped up like Earl Spence. Oh my God. I want a rematch. Nah, baby, you don't want no rematch because whoever knocked you out, I mean, they knocked you the Bad language. Boy, they knocked you out like Bud Crawford. Really? Ah, my eye hurt. What happened to you? It's a long story. Now, may I please be excused to my room? Yeah, but you you need to put something on that eye to make the swelling go down. So go ahead and go over to the freezer and get some chicken. I don't like chicken. You're not going to eat it, Aiden. You're just going to put it on your eye for the swelling. If you say so. Well, obviously he got knocked the hell out. Mm. I don't see any chicken. About that, um, I got hungry. And, um, I think my phone rang you. I'll be right back. I have an ice. Ice in a napkin? Hi. This has gotta be the slowest house I've ever been to. What's up, Aiden? Wanna see what I can do? Not in particular. Ah, uh, you just mad because I'm about to beat your high score. Not the slightest. What? What's wrong with your face? I don't wanna talk about it. Wait a minute, did that Franklin kid do that to you? How do you know? Well, see, I scanned your brave ways while you were asleep last night. It was great. <laughs> no! Franklin, no! Cry, baby. No! Yells. <laughs> Franklin, stop, stop, stop! Hey, that's my business. First thing, you're 11. You don't have any business. And I have just a solution so this never happens again. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, I know the preview one had a few kinks in it, but I fixed this one so it don't have any bugs. It's gonna work perfect. Bargain, I appreciate the help, but I'm never gonna use it anytime soon. Okay. Ah, tell you what, 
You don't have to make a decision right now, but I'm gonna put this right in your book bag. Thank you, Marlon. <sighs> I love the view. So I might just do it. I tried to, but Michael just had it out for me. See what you said. I would, if I knew, I wouldn't be getting bored. So, uh, I mean, here you go, choose to go else. <laughs> Don't freeze no, up. I'm not ready. What's up, Larry? Uh, hey Franklin, <laughs> you got my lunch money today? Actually, I do. I just prefer not to eat lunch so I can pay you the money instead. Uh, what? For the show. No, it should be enough. Are you calling me a liar? Uh, no, just maybe math isn't your strongest suit. Are you calling me stupid? I mean, no, I think you might be, um, <laughs> Mr. Ford, yeah. So, Larry, like, I'm Mr. Ford? I mean, uh, no, no, uh, you are the most informed kid I know. Oh, oh, okay, I thought. Hey, just cause you two words on me, I got two. That's your choice. Any last words? Uh, actually, I do. And I will change me into a stronger guy so I can change me into a bigger bully than Franklin. What was that about? It's about me giving you these hands. You gonna regret those. Dang, eh? You just punched Franklin in the jaw? It's more with that kid from two, punk. Say something else. This ain't the last you said to me, Aiden! Wait, 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 wait. When you learn how to fight, cause that was awesome. I think he learned his lesson. He <laughs> right. I'm finna tell everybody at school that he just ran home. He actually think it worked this time. Wait. It didn't have any batteries. What you mean had had no batteries? Heads up, heads up. You hit my brother in his jaw? Uh, I plead the fifth. <laughs> Why don't you pick on somebody your own size? Uh, well, you're not bigger than me. You know what? He kind of got a point. Shut up, Franklin Roosevelt. Wait, wait, wait. Your first name, Franklin Roosevelt? Yeah. <laughs> you want some too, Larry? No, sir. Huh? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Oh, OK. Oh, OK. <laughs> Where you going? Forward from this crime scene. It be your own people. We can do this the hard way or the harder way. Uh, is there a difference? Nope. Oh. Oh. No, close your mouth. You know my kids lame. They ain't got no skills. No fighting skills. But you, you supposed to teach him. I, I did, I taught him some things he didn't. What did you teach him? You taught him how to run? That's the least you could have did, cause Lisa could have ran home and got away and his eyes wouldn't be black. Now he can't see. He ain't that fast, so running wasn't gonna work. Out. He ain't that smart either, neither are you. Wow. I, I thought this was you too. Well, at least both of your eyes are even now. You should have seen the other kids. I seen them. They looked perfectly fine. But Ooh, yeah, babe, just put that back on your eye. Mhm. Mm just keep it right there as close as possible. But mhm. Mm no buts. My face is cold. Yeah, and your eyes is lumped up like two baseballs. You need to go ahead and keep that up on there and just let it, I don't know, just come down, I guess. I don't know. You might not be able to see again. I can barely see. I know, cause you got two lumps on your eyes. You know what I'ma do? I'ma go downstairs and get you some more ice, cause I'ma be nice, and I'ma check on your brothers. And I want you to keep that on your face, okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. What, did it work? Does it look like it worked? You forgot to put batteries in it. Oh, I knew I forgot something. That's the batteries. <laughs> Ow. No, listen, there's no- Ow! I don't have to take this. I'm getting out. Ow! Ow! Is it my go? Is it my go? 
Don't look at my Uno! Uno out. Mm-hmm. Man, yeah, that's the cheap. third time this week, hey, man. man. You lucky we ain't playing for real money. It really hurt your feelings. I think those. Ooh, coupons for Popeye. Uh, that ain't none of your business. Don't worry about that. Grown folks business right there. Love that chicken with Popeye. <clears throat> huh. Is anyone going to answer the door? Uh, no. Yeah, you know that's your thing, play. It's gonna be a negative. Figures. Uh, uh, hey, don't be slamming no cars down. What? <sighs> I'm let him slide this time. I'm let him slide this time. Baby, you let him slide every time. I don't even know what you're talking about. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm actually very hard on him. Actually, I spend actually more time with him than y'all do, so I don't even know why you even try to bring that this way. No, All what you right, do right. is you spend more time lying because you really was cheating in this game. I seen you trade cards with Aiden. You've never seen me trade cards in this game. I'm not going to cheat it on for chips. Nuh uh, not today, Satan. Open all the beauty's head. How can you give me hands if you're not in here? Open up. What is it? Have you spoken to Megan lately? No. Well, her hamster died. What? I know. No more Mr. Snuggle Puffs. And she had him her whole life. Look, it's no secret that Megan likes you or whatever. Wait. Huh? She does? Boys are so dumb. Are you pranking me right now? What? No, stupid. She didn't have an extra ticket, so she asked her mom if you could go, but I thought she told you this at the movies. Yeah, I remember, I remember. <laughs> well, just send her your condolences. Uh, yeah, I'll text her right now. No! What? I thought that was what you wanted me to do. What? No, go over to her house and see her. Boys are so stupid. Thanks, Barbie. For what? For coming over and telling me. Let's get one straight straight. I didn't do this for you. I did this for my girl. Yeah, but still. Thanks. Whatever. Boy, chill out when you fart on me. What are you doing? I'm about to beat the brakes off your granddad because he keeps cheating. And now I'm so mad he got him. Oh, I got a poop. Oh. Your daddy just don't know how to play on no. Oh, God dang. You lucky I got a poop. I'll be back. Okay, well, after all that, and I got the fart in my face, I'm going to go upstairs and be in my room. If y'all need anything, just find me. But don't. Don't need anything. <laughs> that really wasn't an invite. Just don't need me, please. <laughs> she said fart. I need some advice. Really? Are you sure I'm the best person for that? Uh, yeah. No. Don't choose violence. Megan's hamster died. <gasps> Not Mr. Snugglepuffs! Wait, you knew about it too? Oh man, Mr. Snugglepuffs was good people. Good hamster. Good rodent. He was a good pet. Well, I'm not gonna ask. Apparently, Megan's sad and I don't know what to say or do. Why don't you just Try being her friend. It's too simple. It's like a catch in it. Nope. Just be her friend. That's it. Be her friend? Yeah, it's not rocket science. And I should know because I'm a rocket scientist by trade. You get it? Rocket scientist. That's really it? Yeah. Was you expecting something more complicated? Yeah. I thought you were trying to get me to use the AI remote again. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, hand it over. With pleasure. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to somebody that gives it the respect it deserves. Said no one ever. Now, if you excuse me, I'm heading over to Megan's to show my condolences. Later! Show your condolences, huh? It's gonna leave me here by myself. Nobody's here. To play Uno. That's why it's called Uno. Hey, I heard, and I just wanted to say I'm sorry. It's not your fault, it's just how life works. Heard. Well, if you- I just want to snuggle with him just one more time. I can imagine. I should just do something to send him off properly, you know? Like a funeral? Aiden, you're so smart. Thanks. I need to invite all the kids in the neighborhood. You do? It would be an honor if you could speak at Mr. Snuggle's funeral for me. Thank you, Aiden. You know how to support me in a time of needs. Uh, uh thanks. <laughs> um, Aiden, what do you wear? Don't tell me you had Dad in mind. Uh, I'll change. 
Oh, cool, a cooking show. How to boil eggs, that's stupid. Okay. Flintstones, made the Flintstones. Nope. Oh man, how'd it go? She wants me to speak at Mr. Snugglepuff's funeral. Oh dude, you should be honored, that's awesome. Honored? I don't know how to speak in front of the crowd. Bro, you got this, chill out, you got it, chill out. I'm terrified of public speaking. That sounds like a personal problem. I'm just go to bed and pretend like none of this ever happened. That's not how that works. I mean, yeah, but what do I have to speak at the funeral? I mean, I haven't even met the hamster. His name is Mr. Snugglepuff. This is all your fault. I'm sorry, how's that? If you would have gave me bad advice, I wouldn't have even got there in the first place. Well, first thing, slow down, little daddy, all right? And are you blaming me for giving you good advice? Yeah. This generation is doomed. I need the AI remote. Nope. What do you mean, no? Weren't you just complaining about my AI remote? We have to bring up old stuff. Apologize. Really? No apology, no remote. Fine! I'm sorry. No, I'm thinking more like, Marvin, you are the greatest inventor ever! 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 No. Okay, I tried. <sighs> Fix, Marvin! Don't mention it. AI, take me into the world's best public speaker! Yo, hey, you okay? Why, yes, sir. Well, I appreciate you for asking, brother. That boy sound like Martin Luther King. <laughs> <laughs> Showing up. We will start when Aiden comes. Have anyone seen Aiden? Look no further. Aiden's here. Aiden's here. You showed. Of course. Listen up, brothers and sisters. I had a dream that each hamster would be treated equally. Dead. Alive. <laughs> or otherwise. <laughs> but Mr. Snugglepuffs was a joy to everyone. He was tremendous <laughs> to everyone he met. You didn't even meet Mr. Snugglepuff. I, I met him in spirit. <gasps> No. Then why you wake me up? I want to tell you up. I meant to say. Spit it out. Spit what up? The thing that you lost. What did I lose? I don't know. That's what you said. You lost something. I said that. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> Hand to Aiden. Oh, oh. <laughs> This is for you. Let me see. Dear Aiden, this is your Uncle Marvin. That's me. Dad just handed you this. Mm -hmm. I don't remember, but I misplaced my memory. 
And I came up here to tell you. Is this some kind of joke? I, I gave you that line. Anyway, I think you misplaced your memory. <gasps> oh no! But... Do it. I'm looking for my memory. I can use your help, you know. I doubt that your memory is on the couch. It's worth a gander. I can really use your help. Clearly. <sighs> oh, is there anything you can do? This is beyond me. There's gotta be something. Nope. Are you lying to me? Well, there is one thing. We've got an AI remote that allows me to turn it to anything I want. That's an amazing concept. Who came up with that? You did. <laughs> of course I did. It's brilliant. <laughs> Sounds just like me. Humility, please. So can you use the remote? Technically. Well, can you help me? Do you know what it's like when your memory is gone? It's, it just feels like your brain doesn't even work. Come on, man. Your brain never works properly. You know what I mean. Okay. Not just this once. Stand back. This is the part where it gets real tricky. And I remote turn me to the world's greatest detective so I can find Marvin's memory. No, Sherlock, Aiden. Let's go get your memory back. You're up? Uh, Marvin, where my tickets at? What tickets? Come on, bro. Uh, again, what tickets? Tickets to the Beyonce concert for Tip's birthday. I gave them to you the whole. is he left it at home. Okay, well, can you get them to me? We're about to start getting ready now. I'm gonna need them about an hour. Yeah, if I could only find my keys. I could, uh... Hmm, keys. Keys, yep. I could just find my keys, I could. Uh... All right, look. Um... I'm about to start getting ready. I'm gonna need them in about an hour. So I don't care if you got an Uber, whatever. Get them to me, please. <laughs> don't worry, we'll be, we'll give it to you by an hour. Let's go find out memory and get those tickets. Get up. They're not in here. <laughs> Interesting. You didn't have the Beyonce tickets before you came to my house? Correct. Hmm. If I was Beyonce tickets, where would I be? Why is there a yo-yo in your car? I don't know. I just found it when I was looking around. Hmm. Interesting. Let me see. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Come on. Let's go. Wait, is that a clue? Are you onto something? What do you think? <sighs> what do you two goose want? I resent that, young lady. With all due respect, shut it up, Marvin. Did you just tell me to shut up? Girl, I got drawers older than you. Gross. We're here to find his memory because he lost it. And don't forget the Beyonce tickets. Oh, and the Beyonce tickets. Number one, your grandpa had lost his mind. And number two, I don't know about no Beyonce tickets. Then, how do you explain this? My yo-yo! Yeah, problem child. 
You got some explaining to do. The only problem here is your breast. <laughs> That's just rude. I can't believe you kissed your mother with that mouth. I can't believe you kissed your mama with that mouth. <gasps> okay, guys. I'll take it from here. Good idea. You got some explaining to do. I ain't no Ricky. I'm not gonna incriminate myself. I need answers now. Yeah. He came around the corner saying he lost the ticket, so he needed my yo-yo to unhypnotize herself. Wait, you hypnotize yourself? I don't remember, but it does sound like something I would do. Why you hypnotize yourself? Maybe so I won't forget where I put the Beyonce tickets. You couldn't okay. think of another way to push the tickets? Nah. You both want to make those sense, right? Yeah. Are you done now? Because I need to go spend some money. Wait, when did you get a bankroll? From Marvin, duh. Where'd you think he got the yo-yo in the first place? Oh, you two time and little- Language! He's still on YouTube. You took advantage of me. Don't hit the player, baby. Hit the game. Wait, was there a special reason why he hypnotized himself? I don't remember. Hair. This is extortion. Never do anything you're good at for free. I fear for this generation. You said this to me. Back to me. Back to me. Remember the words so I can see. I said all that? Yep, don't forget to look at the yo-yo while you say it. I'm out. Dang. Shut up. You heard her. Get to yo Back to me, back to me. Let me remember so I can see. Do you remember? Yeah. What time is it? Almost seven. We gotta go. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. God, about time. Listen, where were y'all? We gotta get going. Where are we going? It's a surprise. Where are the tickets? I forgot them. Wait, what? What do you mean you forgot? I remember, but then I forgot. Oh. Then I forgot. But he's the person on the case. To make sure that <laughs> uh, <sighs> it's all good, Marvin. No, it's not all good. Okay. I need these tickets. Wait, what tickets? I thought we were just going to dinner. Where are we going? <sighs> I was trying to surprise you for your birthday. Um, I had bought Beyonce tickets. <gasps> you did? Oh my God, you bought me Beyonce tickets? Well, we were. That is, till your dad lost them. <gasps> <sighs> listen, listen, it's all good. I believe Marvin didn't lose the tickets at all. They were hiding in plain sight. Mm-hmm. Marvin, take off the hat. <gasps> the ticket! Oh, the oh, oh. Ticket! <sighs> You're welcome. Like you're not single! How did you know? Oh, that's because I'm Sherlock Aiden. Be cool, but be myself. Be cool, but also be myself. Like, be cool. Thanks for meeting me here. You lucky because I didn't want to come. I guess I deserve that. Okay, spit it out, what's your excuse? Excuse for what? The reason why you got me out here in the first place. I can explain, but I need to find the words. Why, you lying? No, it just might sound far-fetched. Try me. 
Are you sure? I don't have all day. Well, my grandpa is smart. Like, evil genius smart. And he designed an AI remote that allows me to turn into anything I want. Is that all? No. I didn't go to the movies with you. It was AI alien. Wow, everybody was right about you. You really are a geek, and especially a liar. But lose my number. I'm done talking to you. Man, it wasn't even my fault. Go, Shango, go, Shango, go. Go, Papa, go, Papa, go. Go, Shango, go, Shango, go. Hey, 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 hey. Go, Papa, go, Papa, go. Go, go. Hey. Uh uh, don't be coming up in here and killing me and Shango's vibe. I didn't even say anything. You don't have to say nothing. Your face is all crunched up and pouting and stuff. What's wrong with you? Megan hates me. Okay, what you do? Nothing. No, nah, we ain't gonna say nothing now. You men love to say you don't do nothing, and you very much always doing what, Shango? Something, right? Something. It's Marvin's fault. Uh uh, look. You need to relax on your grandfather, okay? I know he be getting on your nerves because he gets on my nerves and that's my daddy. Then why don't you save me? Because then he'll get on my nerves more and then it ain't gonna be good for none of y'all. Right, Shango? You mean not good for you. Okay, how about you just stay focused? Because this ain't about me. It's about you walking up in here looking like Ryan Gosling from The Notebook. Funny. <laughs> so funny, I forgot to laugh. Well, do you want me to forget who I am and whip out this Gucci belt? May I be excused? Yeah, you need to go ahead about your business and get yourself together. I hate it here. What'd you say? I love it here. That's what I thought. I love here. You love here, Poppy? Do you love me? Love me. I love you! Go Shango, go Shango, go! Go Shango, go Shango, go! Big Shango, big Shango, go! Big Shango, big Shango, go! I do! I oh, bless you, Papa! Where's Shango? Ah! There you go! Hi! Give me five. See, that's why I love you, my favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. You're not going after 35 to 45 minutes, okay? My love life stinks because of you! I'm sorry about that. I told the lady that Chipotle to lay off the beans, but she just kept adding them on. You know how they do. They be beating you up, so it's, it was weird. My guy doesn't want to date me no more. Really? What'd you do? Nothing! Really? That's the line everybody gives when they did something. No, it's your fault. Okay. I told her about the AI remote, and she doesn't believe me! Well, did you try to show it to her? No! Well, why don't you start there? Because she doesn't want to talk to me no more. Sometimes when a girl blows you off, she just wants you to find a better way to ask her out. That's all that means. Mm -hmm. It does? Yeah, unless she puts a restraining order on you. Then you need to leave her alone. Is that your stomach? Yeah, that's Chipotle. It's coming back. It's time for the remix. Let's go ahead and start early. Yeah. I like your hair. Thanks. What's wrong? You good? No, not really. <laughs> Don't tell me it's Aiden. Mm. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I told you so, I told you so. I know, I know. I just wanted Aiden to be different. He's a geek, Megan. He'll always be a geek. It's the lying that did it for me. What do you say? It doesn't matter. How you doing? Megan Big Brain is here. Barbie, Megan. Like, hey, Big Rennie, what's up with you? Nothing, just walking around the hood, seeing who got a couple of dollars for my hot Cheetos. What about you, Megan? I don't have any money. Then how'd you get the ice cream? Barbie brought it. Megan, you holding out? I thought we was better than that, Barbie. Of course not, I spent our last money on our ice cream cones. Cap, we're not lying to you, Brittany. That's Big Brittany to you. What, you think something special because you got your hair done? I never said that, Brittany. I said that's Big Brittany to you. How could you? Oh, hey Aiden, what are you doing here? Um, is Megan home? Megan's not home right now. She'll be back later. Thanks, Miss Rowling. 
Uh, can you tell her that I stopped by? It's really important that I speak with her. Okay, will do. So much of telling her the truth. I'm not gonna be persistent if she won't even talk to me. Aiden? Megan, what happened to you? Don't ask, you shouldn't be here. I'm here to show you that I wasn't lying. I know, but clearly it's not the time. I know, but I have to show you. Aiden, look. A remote? Not just a remote, the one Marvin built. Huh? Uh, it's a long story, but wish to be some and push this button. I don't have time for your games. Just try, please. Okay, fine. I wish I could be big and strong and beat a big ring. <laughs> Megan, who are you? It's me, Megan. How is this possible? I don't know. I only turned into an older version of myself before. Sorry, Aiden. I should have believed you. No, you shouldn't. The adventures me and Marvin go on is beyond reality. You're all right. You know that? You think so? I know so. Where are you going? I had some unfinished business with a certain someone. I think I'm in love. 30, 40, 50, man, these kids broke these days. Yo, Brittany. Man, what do you want? Well, take this. 